Greetings, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Swamp Fox Magfed. Today, we are getting into something popular, and that is hormesis. We're going to be talking about how to get a band, because that's the question everyone wants to know. How do I get a hormesis band? So we're going to go over a couple different ways that I've gotten them, and we're going to go over just some of the ones I've got, what to expect. So without further ado, let's roll the intro and let's jump into this video. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, as we stated before, today we are talking about hormesis. Hormesis is the headband that everyone, well, most everyone, is trying to get these days, and there is good reason why. Hormesis is a company that is created by none other than Alex Frage and Oliver Lang from Dynasty. Well, Oliver's played for a few different teams, but mostly from Dynasty. And so the two of them partnered together, I want to say during COVID 2020, they hit their one year anniversary at the end of last year. So I want to say they started selling these in 2020. Pardon, pardon me if I'm off, but I want to say it was 2020. But the whole point of it was to create a unique band that would last. And once they did that, it's turned into a hot fire craze. They do limited runs on everything. They do weekly drops. And so if there's a specific band that you want, you got to kind of keep an eye out if you're going to try and get it in a drop. And even if you are keeping an eye out, you can still miss it. I've missed several, several bands to the point of complete frustration. But I'm not one that needs a whole lot of bands. I've got a couple. I have three, as a matter of fact, and I got them all in different ways. And so today we're going to go over a few of those ways that I was able to get bands. So in my experience, there's three ways to get bands. You either get it through a drop, you get it through the resale market, or you win one. Now, the first band that ended up getting was through resale. I tried to get a few bands through the drops and I just had no luck. Either I was needing extra verification on one of my cards or I didn't type the code in fast enough or whatever the case is. By the time I got my stuff in, everything was gone. And it is extremely, extremely frustrating, especially if it's a band you really want. Because ultimately, if you miss the band, you know, you're probably gonna have to get through resale, which is gonna be much, much more expensive. So, like most people, the first band I ended up getting was through resale. And it was this bad boy here, which is a shorty band. So, now you can see the pattern placement is really good because all the patterns vary and it's a gold tag and it's got the gold here on the back side and it's got brown on the inside here now this is one of the older materials it's a little bit more heavy duty and i really enjoy it. i really wanted something more earth tone just because i play out in the woods and so it's a lot nicer when I don't have something that's gonna stand out or be an eyesore when I'm trying to blend in. So this was my first band then that ended up getting through resale. I believe the most of the resale is done through Facebook. So they have a Hormesis buy sell trade, they have a Hormesis owner group. The guys in there are really, really good. And so if you're not already a part of that community, jump on in with them and they can help you find the band of your dreams. Now you will have to pay for it, but so the next way, way number two, this was the second band that I ended up getting and I ended up winning this one. I'm not a guy that wins anything. I've got the worst luck in the world, but the Hormesis gods shined on me and I ended up winning the sweet Dynasty Hormesis band. Now I'm going to be getting another one of these through the Dynasty's Champion Club anyway, but it was really cool to win it before anyone else did. This band is a credit to all the times I watched Push and Sunday Drivers as a kid because that was a trivia question that won me this band. So if you're not one that's good at drops and you don't want to do the resale, contests are also a really, really good way to do it. Now this one was one specifically through the Spick and Span Show, which airs every Tuesday at seven o'clock East Coast time, four o'clock Pacific time. So if you're a West Coast kid, it starts at four. But Alex is on there all the time, and sometimes I do the wheel, which I have no luck on the wheel. Sometimes I'll do trivia, which gives me a little bit better of chance, and then they'll do drop announcements on there too. 
So the Spick and Span Show is a good place. Also, Play the Game podcast. Alex donates bands to both. So if you watch either of those, I think for the Play the Game podcast, you have to be a GOAT member. So there's a monthly fee with that. But Alex donates bands to them as well. So it's another good outlet to win by just tuning in. And then they also do, there's some sites, I don't have the information on them, but there are some sites through Facebook that will do raffles as well. The community for those is really, really small. You have to get invited by someone who's already in, but it's one of those where they'll raffle off bands every so often. And that's another really good outlet to win a band. So there are those two, which I've done and they both work well. Now, the last one, and one of the hardest in my opinion, is getting it through a drop. Now, this is my first and only Green Lion, vertical tag, super freaking dope. And it's a little bit more subdued, which I like. Not as bright. Now, this was my first and only drop I secured. Now, this was also secured through the Spick and Span show when they dropped the code on the show. It allowed me to buy it. On the inside here, it's got a white, white band, gold tag. But drops are also a really cool way to get them, but it is luck of the draw. I mean, you gotta have, you gotta have fast computer, fast internet, and you gotta be like, Johnny on the spot. Now, a couple tips I would recommend. They do have a couple things on there. I think Apple Pay, PayPal, Shop Pay maybe. And they have them under the Quick Tabs. If you are going to use the Quick Tabs, make sure you go into those programs individually and adjust your, I wanna say it is authorization settings because what happened to me the first couple times is I clicked PayPal and I was super, super fast, but it said required additional authorization. And that's just a built-in security measure that you have in your PayPal. So what you need to do is whichever one you want to use, go in there and disable that prior to the drop. That way, when you click it, it processes instantly and you don't get hung up on the requiring additional authorization. As soon as I did that, I landed my first one. Now the rest of them, I've either been at work or I've missed them or whatever, which is fine. I'm not a big collector. I like to have what I use. I'm not a big one on storing them. And so the three that I have will be plenty to last me. But in my experience, those were some of the ways that I've been able to secure drops. And I hope that it helped you find the band of your dreams. If you're new to Hormesis or you're trying to find that special, special band, as frustrating as it is, you just have to be patient because the drop will come and the band picks the player. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And as always, have a positive and productive day, and we will see you on the field.